I don't know if you heard, but Jeff Bezos, Bezos, I guess that's how you say it, right? Jeff Bezos got engaged. The richest man on earth, one of the richest men on earth. He is the owner of Amazon, if you don't know. Um, he got divorced a few years ago, and uh, he's engaged to uh, this lady. She's 53. She's a, a, a retired newscast person, I think, or something like that. Look at that ring. It's estimated to be 25 to 30 carats, about three to five mil for that ring. God damn. <laughs> It's insane. But the whole reason why, well, why talk about this, right? Who gives a shit? Well, we're a lot of us are wedding DJs, right? What would you do if Jeff asked you to DJ his wedding? Because they're planning a wedding now. They are having a wedding. They got engaged. It's not going to be a private thing. They don't know how big it's going to be yet, apparently, according to reports. But it's going to be a wedding. It's going to be a whole wedding, right? So they're going to have to have entertainment. What would you do if Jeff asked you to DJ his wedding? What would you do? Tell me in the comments. I'm dying to know. I'll tell you guys what I would do, okay? Jeff hits me up to do his wedding, right? Jeff hits me up to do his wedding. The first thing I'm going to do is scream. Obviously, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream like a little white girl, okay? I'm going to scream like a little bitch. I'm going to be very, very excited, okay? Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my rates. I'm going to hit up Jason J and I. This is like a screenshot of our website, and I'm going to immediately have Jason J and I raise my rate to $12,900,023 starting. That's going to be my starting rate um, for Jeff's wedding and for any wedding moving forward. It's going to be $12 million. I thought about it. You guys said one, two. I think $12,900,023 sounds good to me. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Now that my rate's that, I'm going to have a little extra money to uh, play around with. This will be my new minimum setup, okay? Whether the wedding is 60 people or 60,000, this is my minimum setup now, okay? This is my minimum setup. It's a crew of 200, all right? If you don't have room for the 2018 wheelers we got to bring in for my new setup, you can't have me. I'm sorry. Your venue's not big enough, all right? Here's what it is. It's the new standard setup, number one. The number one standard setup. No less, no more. This is the standard setup. And I was really having fun kind of thinking about like, what if I had, you know, you ever do this? You ever sit around like, what if I had fuck you money? You know what I mean? What if I had crazy money? You know, it, it, what if I hit it big? And I feel like as a wedding DJ, hitting it big is getting Jeff Bezos' wedding. Because like, you know, you get to charge all this money, right? I guess. I don't know. Never did a, a, a billionaire's wedding before, but I'm assuming he would pay the 12 mil, right? So you got all this extra money and I'm just dreaming, like, what would I do? You know what the number one thing I would do if I got fuck you money like that, right? I would start a conference. I would start the Nick Spinelli Presents the Positive Wedding DJ Conference, okay? I would start the Positive Wedding DJ Conference. And I would hit up all those overly positive ass wedding DJs, you know? All of them. The ones that speak at the conferences. You know what I'm talking about, right? All those over positive people. I'd hit them all up, all of them. And I'd offer them each $10,000 to come speak at the Positive Wedding DJ Conference, okay? Give them 10 grand a piece. And I would tell them all the same time. I'd say all of them, they wouldn't know about it, right? But I would tell them all individually that, hey, you're speaking Monday at 3 p.m. That way they all show up on stage at the same time, right? And I would make sure it's like this kind of stage, by the way. So it would be like literally a festival setup, right? And I'd take all those positive DJs and I'd line them up on this big stage right here, right? I'd line them up all at 3 p.m. And then, you know, they're all lined up facing the crowd, very excited, a little confused that like so many other DJs are speaking at the same time as them, but I'll line them all up, have them just stand there, right? All 15, 20 of them, okay? And then I would take baby powder and I would put baby powder in my hand, okay? Just in the palm of my hand. And I would take turns, okay? I would take my time in individually slapping each one of those people across the face, one at a time, whack, and I'd reapply baby powder, smack, reapply baby powder, smack, and I would go across the whole stage, and I'd slap every one of those stupid ass, overly positive, oh, everything's great, oh, you're the, the greatest set ever, everybody's a goat, everybody's a goat, I would slap every single one of them in the face, and there's nothing they could do about it, because Jeff Bezos hired me to do my wedding, do his wedding.